We've got a lot of good stuff going, including we're going to welcome back Michael Wiskus to the show. Coming up after that, we've got the Aeroshell Aerobatic Team. We're going to go from a 1946 birth, but 21st century modified little biplane with Michael flying it to going back in time to the 19. 30s, the late 1930s, I think 1938. Heard about all the records of the C-17. Has it a record book, time to climb, payload, all the things that it can do. Yep. And it was in Oscar. I was going to be uh, on stage at Theater in the Woods, and I was in the green room waiting to go on, and there was a, an officer talking about the C-17. And I started to listen to the speaker in the green room, and what, it, what he said, almost brought me to tears. He said, the C-17 is a hospital ship. Here's what we found out. In the Middle East, he said, somebody is wounded. What we found out is we give them care as fast as we can in the Middle East. We put them on a C-17 hospital ship with state-of-the-art equipment and military trained medical personnel. We get them to Frankfurt, Germany, where we have state-of-the-art care. And then as soon as they're able to transition again, we put them back on a C-17. We take them to America. We get them to our hometown hospital, or our VA hospital, where their friends and family are, and we find that it reduces the recovery time monumentally. And I broke into tears in that green room. I said, wow, that's humanitarian after you hear about the payload and the speed and the size and all the things that it can do. that could, that meant a world to this guy, because Michael Wiskus had been told to the of those two poles is a ribbon and very very shortly Michael Wiskus is going to attempt to cut that ribbon let's see if he's going to do it on this pass he's high and to the left and he'll check it out but this time he goes right under those ribbons experiences 10 G's in that very, very, very tight turn, rolls it two and a half times to upside down and pushes forward on the stick with all of that energy. Watch him as he climbs now. Almost zero airspeed and he's able to accelerate out of it and continues to keep the pits by playing rolling. <laughs> Extending out to the left. That means he weighs 1,800 pounds. As he gets to the top, he does a tail slide. He backs it up. Now he swaps ends. The power comes back on. He flirts with the buildings over there on the edge of our aerobatic box, our stage here in the sky at Dayton. Pushes the nose over for lots more energy. Yeah, like he was the 
Champion Aerospace, Kimmel Aviation Insurance, Vegan Incorporated, Aero LEDs, CJ Aviation, Yakin Aircraft Engines, Higher Power Hydraulic Doors, Aspen Aviatics, Lincoln Welders, Bolts Headsets, Aircraft Spruce, The Good Gear Company, Concord Batteries, Strong. Now let me tell you a little bit about this team. They're flying the 1930s technology aircraft. Right now the weight of the aircraft is about 5,000 pounds. That means it takes a lot of strength to be able to do what the team is going to do. They make it look so easy, but I can tell you these four award winners, it's difficult. It takes a lot of strength. These are all big guys, and I'll introduce them to you. They are recipients of the Bill Barber Award for Showmanship given one time a year to one team or one individual at the Sacred Place for Aviation, Oshkosh, Wisconsin. In addition to that, they were the recipients of the Art Showman Showmanship Award given one time a year on a black tie awards banquet in Los Angeles. 